Thank you for watching Adopedia World videos. In this session, we will understand about instances and schema and introduction to data models. Instances and schema. Database change over time and as information is inserted and deleted. The collection of information stored in a database at a particular moment is called an instance of that database. The overall design of a database is called the database schema. Schemas are changed very infrequently. The concept of database schemas and instances can be understood by the analogy to a program written in a programming language. A database schema corresponds to variable declarations along with its associated type definitions. Each variable has a particular value at a given instance. The value of variables in a program at a point at the time corresponds to an instance of the database schema. The logical schema is the most important one of these in the terms of its effect on the application programs. Since programmers construct application by using logical schema, the physical schema is hidden beneath the logical schema and can usually be changed without affecting the program. Application programs are set to exhibit physical data independence if they do not depend on the physical schema and thus need not to be rewritten if the physical schema changes. Let us start with the introduction to data models. When we say database for a particular requirement is needed, then we look into what are the components of the requirement. We plan how it can be structured in the database. Planning the structure of a database is called the data models. It involves planning about tables, their columns, mapping between the tables, how they are structured in physical memory, etc. A data model helps us to put the real world requirements into a design. This makes the developer understand the relationship between various objects in the database. Let us start with object-based, physical and record-based database model. Depending on the levels of the data we are modeling, we have to divide the data models into three categories, object-based, physical and record-based. Physical data model represents the model where it describes how data are stored in the computer memory how they are scattered and how they are ordered within the memory and how they would be retrieved from the memory. Object and record based data models are the model based on the data at the application and user level. They are basically responsible for designing various objects of the database and their mappings. Let us imagine that we have to design a database for a college. What is the real world entities involved with the college? They are the college name, students, lecture, course, subject, marks, etc. Once all the entities are listed, we found that the relationship between them and try them to map them all. Also, we list what are the attributes related to each entities like student ID, name, lecture, the course taught by them, different subjects and, and other things. Here we are not bothered about what data value is stored. What is the size of each data? Object based data models are based on the above concept where we map attributes and mapping at this stage. It is designed using the entities in the real world, attributes of each entity and their relationships. It picks up each thing or object in the real world which is involved in the requirement. There are two types of object based data model, entity relationship model and object oriented data model. The ER data model is one of the most important data model which forms the basis of all the designs in the database world. It defines the mapping between entities and relationship in the database. Object oriented data model along with the mapping between entities describes the state of each entity and the tasks performed by them. Next is physical data models. Physical data models represents the model where it describes how data are stored in computer memory, how they are scattered and ordered in the memory, and how they would be retrieved from the memory. Basically, physical data model represents the data at the data layer or internal layer. 
It represents each table, their columns and specification constraints like primary key, foreign key and other things. It basically represents how each tables are built and related to each other in the database. Above diagram shows how physical data model is designed. It represents as UML. The primary key is represented at the top. The relationship between the tables is represented by interconnected arrows from table to table. Above, the student table is related to class and subject is related to class. The above diagram depicts class as parent table and it has two child table, student and subject. Let us understand about features of this type of data model. Table set its specifications. Table names and their columns. Columns are represented along with their database and size. In addition to primary key, each of the table is shown at the top of the column list. When you talk about foreign keys, they are used to represent the relationship between tables. Mapping between the tables are represented using arrows between the, them. Physical data model can have denormalized structure based on their user requirements. Record based data models. These data models are based on application and user level of data. They are considering the logical structure of objects in the database. This data model defines the actual relationship between the data and the entities. There are three types of record based data models, hierarchical network and relational data models. We will see all these three in the coming next slide. Hierarchical database structures. Hierarchical database consists of collection of records that are connected to each other through links. A record is similar to a record that we will study in network model. Each record is a collection of field attributes, each of which contains only one data value. A link is an association precisely between two records. Thus, a link here is similar to a link that we will see in a network model. We can also see in the figure H1. Record and parent-child relationship. The hierarchical model employs two main data structuring concepts. Record and parent-child relationship. A record is a collection of field values that provide information on an entity or a relationship instance. Records of the same type are grouped into record types. A record type is given a name and its structure is defined by a collection of name field or data items. Each field can have a certain data type such as integer, real or string. Let us imagine that we have to create a database for a company. What are the entities involved here? Company, its department, suppliers or vendors, its employee and different project of the company. These can be considered as different entities we need to take care. If we observe each of the entity, they have a parent-child relationship. We can design them like we do in the ancestral hierarchy. In our case, company is the parent and rest of them are its children. Department has employees and project as its children and so on. This type of data modeling is called hierarchical data model. In this data model, the entities are represented in a hierarchical fashion. Here we identify a parent entity and its child entity. Again, we go down to the identity next level to the child identity and so on. It can also be imagined like a root tree structure. This model will have only one main root. It then branches into sub root, each of which will branch again if necessary. This type of relationship is best defined for one is to n type of relationship. Example. A company has multiple department that is 1 is to n. Company has multiple supplier that is 1 is to n. One department has multiple employees again 1 is to n. And each department has multiple project again 1 is to n. If we have m is to n relationship that we have to duplicate the entities and show it in other diagram. For example, if a project 
in a company involves multiple departments then our hierarchical representation changes as in the figure h4 let us look towards the network data models this is the enhanced version of hierarchical data models it is designed to address the drawbacks of hierarchical models where there is redundancy it helps to address m is to n relationship this data model is represented as hierarchical but this model will not have a single parent concept any child in the tree can have multiple parents here if we again take our previous example a company has different projects and departments in the company even the suppliers of the company give input to the project here the projects have multiple parents and each department and supplier have multiple projects this is represented as in the diagram seen basically it forms a network like structure between entities and hence the name is given let us see the advantages and disadvantages accessing the record in the table is easy since it addresses many to many relationship because of this kind of relationship any kind of records or any number of records can be easily pulled up by using the tables for example if we want to know the department of project x and if we know the supplier table we can pull this information supplier has the information about the project x which includes the department involved in the projects too hence it makes it easily accessible to any data and because of this same feature above one can easily navigate between the tables and get any data also its design is based on the data standards of ansi and sparc let us talk about the disadvantages if there are any requirement for changes to the entity it requires the entire change to the database there is no independence between any objects and hence any change to any of the object will need changes to the whole model and hence difficult to manage it would be little difficult to design the relationship between the entities since all the entities are related in the same way it requires thorough knowledge about designing let us see about the relational model originally the relational data model was developed for databases that is database information stored over a long period of time in a computer system and for database management system the software that allows people to store access and modify this information databases still provide us with important understanding for the relational data model they are found today not only in their original large scale applications such as airline reservation system and banking system but also in regular desktop models the relational model uses a notion of relation that is closely related to the set theory definition but differs in some details in relational model information is stored in tables such as one shown in the table this particular table represents data that might be stored in a registrar computer about courses students who have taken them and grades they have obtained the columns of the table are given names attributes in this table the attributes are course student id and grade we will see more about the entity relation data model in our next slide thank you